Seven. A man is behind bars tonight after impersonating a police officer. Channel 6 News reporter Imani Payne joins us now in our newsroom with the latest. Hi, Imani. Doug and Leslie, it happened at the subway on North 29th Street. I talked to the store manager about the incident earlier today. He tells me nothing like this has ever happened at his store before, and that he's glad a real officer came to the rescue and kept things from escalating. It was a typical Tuesday night at the subway on North 29th Street until a customer tried to take the law into his own hands. Just immediately got in line and started asking him if they had called the cops and said that he was a cop, displayed his badge and then put it back on his belt. The only problem, the man who did this wasn't a cop. He was faking. And it didn't take manager Benjamin McNatt and his employees too long to figure it out. And he had started acting strange and funny, um, so they started to get a little concerned. They wondered if the man was trying to rob them. And right now, they're not actually sure what his exact intentions were. But luckily, a real officer with the Florence Police Department happened to be in line and picked up on the man's fishy behavior, too. He asked the impersonator to show his credentials. And a police report claims the criminal just smiled and winked at the real officer. That's when he called Temple Police. Once they arrived, they saw the man sporting his fake badge and took him in. Oren Leon was arrested for false impersonation as a peace officer and is currently sitting in the Bell County Jail. A spokesperson for the Temple Police Department says it's important you know how to tell a real cop from a fake. If you see someone that walk up to you and they're, they're presenting a badge and you're a little suspicious about who they are, you can ask to see other credentials such as um, an identification card. Or you can ask for a uniformed officer to come to the scene too. Manager McNabb says his employees made sure the customers remain safe and that he's very happy to have Temple PD's assistance. He hopes something so dangerous never happens again. Temple PD says if you believe a fake officer is trying to pull you over in an unmarked car, the best thing you can do is call 911, tell them an officer is behind you and that you're driving to a well-lit area before pulling over. Doug and Leslie.